Hello there Aries, welcome to your reading. This is the reading for the 12th to the 18th of April. Um, there is a lot of cards that have come out for you. I am going to do the tarot side for you um, for this reading. Um, I'm going to go in depth with these um, readings. I'm going to do some clarifying and I've also got some other clarifying cards with the Lovers Oracle um, to go in more in depth with them. So what I have done is I've done some tarot cards to see what's in store for you for the week of the 12th to the 18th. So I'm going to jump right into it for you right now. So the first card that have come out for you then is the Sun card. So this is about a very, very ripe, successful time for you, Aries. This is all about, for some of you, there's some type of marriage coming in, some type of success, um, happiness and joy that's coming in for you. You then had the card of Eight of Cups. So this is about either you or someone else that you know have walked from you or you have walked away from someone but what I'm getting is you are walking away from either a situation or a person that no longer serves you anymore. You then have the card of the King of Swords. So this is like an authoritative type of figure that is going to be coming into your life. Um, this is like a person that is um, demands respect. Uh, this is like um, a very strong person that they could be in the justice system. Uh, it can be very cold and abrasive when they want to be. So this is like they want to seek some sight of justice, something of that nature that war I'm coming up across with in this um, spread. Then you have the next card then which is the Ten of Cups. So there is a bright happiness that's coming on the horizon for you. Um, there may be a get a gathering with your family or you be coming to terms with good happiness and some type of good celebration that's coming in for you. You then have the card then which is the Seven of Cups. So there is a sense of many many options that's in your corner coming in for you um, maybe some type of money improvements for some of you also you then have the page of wands so there is a sense of either you or someone younger than you is going to be traveling overland looking to move forward to do something i'm getting there is a sense of a job opportunity for um for a young person that's coming in uh, and is involving traveling as well you then have the next card then which is the hangman and the hangman is telling you um, you are going to be um, getting stronger within yourself through this week. There is also a sense of um, we have had a lot of delays and a lot of deliberations in your life they are going to be um, overcoming through this week you are going to start seeing some um, improvements on the way and this can come in sorts of some type of situation that you've been looking for some type of answers or something of that nature that you've been waiting for so it's like you're in the current process of um, just standing still so to speak and just waiting for things to come to you and for you to find out what's in store for you you then have the card of the Knight of Cups. So this is someone that's coming in with some type of love offer for you. Um, this may be someone coming in with some type of, I've got some um, gratitude offers coming in. Um, there is a love offer that's coming in as well. This person may be um, a water sign. Uh, this person is very mature. They have that sense of coming in pretty quick and fast with this love opportunity for you. Then you have the Six of Pentacles. There is a sense either you or someone else is coming in that's going to be giving and receiving um, money situations or it could be some type of where is that balance bringing a balance into a relationship or they're waiting on you to um, say what you want to do if you want to perceive in moving forward with this person or not. You have the four swords. 
so there is a sense of you needing a lot of rest and time you know you you may be having a lot of thinking about this person that have given you some type of offer in this time um and is making you want to have some time out you know have a good think about it and just let it you know gradually um how can i put it like a big contemplation time that you were going to be going through um, about the decisions that you were going to be making upon this time. You have the Ten of Wands, so there is a lot of burdens that you are currently going to be having, but there is a sense of hope. You are going to be overcoming all these burdens. Um, you may be thinking that you need a lot of time out because we, you've got a lot of problems going on in your life. You don't know whether to perceive in actually having to take up on this love op opportunity, this offer. Um, is that you wanna take that balance, you wanna balance, you do wanna like have a loving relationship, take this love offer, but yet there's a lot of problems that you have going on that is weighing you down quite a lot and is just giving you a lot of burdens you have the four of pentacles so you are going to be grasping on to something very tightly you may be having a lot of savings coming in or there is someone or some type of situation that you cannot um, let go as of yet um, so this is what's coming in for you it's a sense of um, don't want to let go or something um, but there's a, like a sense of some type of sacrifice if you do end up going into this um, new relationship with this person. You then have the four of wands. So there is a happy outcome coming in in your favour. There is, you know, in your home, everything's going to be happy. Everything's going to be great. There is a sense for some of you, some type of marriage, commitment, um, or even just move into somewhere in a country setting maybe or just celebrating someone coming home you have the ten of pentacles which is a completion card like the ten of cups um, so this is some type of good agreement with money situation so you may be signing a document um, about money or you have some money coming in from um, a situation that you've been waiting on for a very long time and this is where you are actually going to be getting what you want um, and more you've been waiting for for a while um, but some of you I'm sensing this may be some type of inheritance that you're coming in um, coming in with so there is a, some sense of family contentment within this card something is going to come in to you and is going to be very shocking it's something you're not going to be expecting for some of you um i'm sensing that this is i got someone like like the spirit world saying something is going to be deliberate so something is going to happen that is um done on purpose done deliberately but things are going to um come out on top but it is some sense of, you know, you're not going to be expecting it. It's going to come as a complete shock. And I've just had the um, spirit also saying that it's something about false promises for someone. Um, if you can resonate with that, then please um, take what you can with that. You then have the page of pentacles. So this is about someone that's younger than yourself, or it could be yourself, that is um, going... To have some type of good financial opportunity um, some type of wealth coming in they may be going in to do some studying or having a new job um, there is a sense that this person could be male or female is not um, it's just any specific gender really um, you then have the six of cups this is about a past person that's coming in this may be someone that you met in your childhood um, it could be an ex-partner. It's just someone that is coming in from the past with some type of um, opportunity because they you have the two of cups. So they want to come in, they want to contact you, they want to have some type of peace of mind, either to give themselves peace of mind or for yourselves to have some type of peace of mind, some type of talk that needed to be um, spoken about. So it's that sense of um, coming together and 
needing that talk. You then have the Three of Pentacles, so there is a lot of improvements on the way for you. Um, something that you've been working hard on is going to become very, very successful. Um, for others, I'm sensing that there is a lot of um, delays around something that you want to you wanna do. Um, and for others, I can see that someone is actually planning um, to do some type of building work. As you can see, you know, there's two people that's holding like this plan. It's like a, um, like a blueprint type of thing. And it's like what they want the structure of a house or a building or something of that sort. I'm getting for some of you this is to do with like a garden. Um, there may be a few of you that's working together on making things um, come together. And others of you I'm sensing we there, there is a, an improvement that needs um, some type of stability where you and this other person or two other people that comes together need to work some things out, some type of situation that haven't been going very good. There is a sense that needed to be um, that need to be sorted and dealt with at this time. You have the moon, so there is a lot of deception and delays that is coming in for you. Um, but it is only going to be temporary, you know, it's not going to be, um, it won't take that long, so to speak. So there will be a little bit of a delay coming in for you. You know, you will have some feelings that um, your emotions are up and down at this time because where you can see the moon, you know, is the shadow self is working on yourself, working on the, um, the dark side of yourself your inner fears and things of that nature whatever worries you is working things on that so that's what you're going to be um focus upon at this time as well so something that is basically eating away at you um you are going to be trying to overcome this and not let it um eat away at you you then have the star so this is whatever wishes you've been wishing for they are going to come true there's a lot of hope there's a lot of um, excesses that's going to come in it is going to be um, a successful wish that you've waited for for a long time that is actually going to be coming in for you and there's a lot of hoping and praying on your behalf too then you have the knight of pentacles so you may have been hoping and wishing for some new person to come in some type of love offer where there is the Knight of Pentacles, so there is someone coming in with some type of offer, some type of message, some type of letter. So there's someone that's coming in um, and letting you know something or um, or about a certain situation that is at hand that you're involved with. You then have the King of Pentacles, which is about a person that is like business orientated they can be a bit arrogant when they want to be they may be older than yourself or this could be yourself um they have a sense that they have a lot of money they may be a taurus um zodiac sign they are very strong they are very powerful they have a sense of they can be a bit domineering when they want to be as well so it's a sense of like focusing upon their monies and the wealth at this time. So you may be going to see this person for some type of advice. You then have the card of the Knight of Wands. So there is another person that's coming in with some type of um, letter, some type of communication that's coming in for you. Um, and I'm sensing this could be linked to like a love connection for some of you. So I'm sensing there is quite a lot of love offers that's coming in for you. Um, what I can see so far is one, two, three, four, five, possibly like five people. So maybe you are on some type of dating app or something of that nature and as these people are coming out uh, and giving you offers out through the woodworks. Um, or but just in general it's just like some type of communication some type of letter that you've been waiting on that's willing to um, 
not be delayed anymore and it's going to be coming in pretty quicker and faster than you anticipated but is it actually going to be unexpected for some of you so right what I can see is success in the works for you and there is a sense you moving away um, from a situation or person from the past that no longer serves you anymore um, this could be to do with many problems or to do with a certain situation that you know you cannot change um, or there's nothing you can do anymore and um, there's nothing that's keeping you tied down or holding you back anymore so there is good success with that then you have the king of swords so there is someone that is um, authoritative type of figure that's coming in uh, and I'm sensing with this person they have some type of communication which is going to bring you happiness a lot of joy um, an end into a certain situation that is going to bring a lot of happiness some type of celebration in for you um, there may be some type of options that's coming in for you whether you want to do something um, of a celebration or these other things that you've got in mind to do um, and then for someone that is younger than yourselves there is a travel opportunity um, could be to do with studying could be to do with a new job is something to do with um, oh, what can I say something like they want to go and travel because that's what they want to do they may want to be um, one of these travelers you know travel all around the world but this is about someone that is you know they want to travel over land for something this could just be like travel to the next town for some of them um, that gotta go and see someone then you have the hangman so this is about you know being more stronger in yourself um, after a lot of delays and deliberation there is a, a few delays going on but it's not going to last that long um, and then you have the knight of cups which is someone coming in with some type of love offer or some type of emotion some type of um, um, offer that links to the emotions um, this person may need a lot of confidence so they may be a shy mature um, happy go lucky type of person and then there is a sense of um, either giving and receiving um, helping people out or there's this need to balance out um, your life your normal life your general life and your love life then you have the four swords then which is linked to do with having a lot of rest needing time out um have a lot of decision making having a lot of throat thought process going through um just having that time to like think things through and then you have the ten of wands being weighed down with a lot of problems with some burdens but is um not going to last long you are going to be overcoming them and then you have the four of pentacles you're either going to be saving up or you're holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to it's like you're holding on too tight to something or someone you have the four of wands then which is a happy outcome like a happy home um celebrating some type of good news some type of success it could be a marriage it could be a commitment it could be someone that's actually coming home from somewhere else um, and then you have the ten of pentacles which is about money contentment about your family um could be a signing of a money agreement or doing something good within the family then you have the tower card which is about some type of um unexpected occurrence coming in something that you're not going to um expect some type of um surprise you know it, it does take you back a bit then you have the page of pentacles which is about a young person that can be a student they may be coming into some type of wealth um, or they come in with some type of communication six of cups then is about a happy outcome from the past you know reliving your past um, memories or someone from the past is actually coming um, coming forward to you with a love offer or some type of um, communication with the two of cups you know having a lot of peace of mind with two people come together talking and um, trying to get things off their chest 
And then you will have the Three of Pentacles then is about someone working hard on something. Um, a lot of improvements that's on their way. And there can be a lot of delays around it, but it won't be anything too major. You then have the Moon card, which is about a lot of delays and some type of deception going on. Um, there could be a lot of emotions going up and down, a lot of anxiety um, coming in for some of you. There is um, some type of deceiving, either you are going to be deceiving someone or someone's going to be deceiving you. So it's just like working on, you know, like the, um, the dark side to you, the shadow self. You have the Knight of Pentacles then, which is about someone that's coming in with some type of communication, some type of letter, some type of message to share something that you need to know. And then there's another person then that's going to be involved, which is the King of Pentacles, which is about someone that has their own business. They can be very arrogant, they can be very powerful, and they may be something to do with the finances that they're involved with, and they may be a Taurus. And then the last one then is the Knight of Wands. There's someone that's coming in with some type of important letter, something that you need to know, um, and that's what they're coming up for. So I'm going to clarify these now to see what these represent. So with the Sun, you have the Empress. So the reason the Sun come out is because of the Empress. So there is going to be a lot of success and bright happiness and um, good success coming in but to do with um, some type of delays that you have been having something that um, you've been waiting for for a long time um, and is actually going to be coming out wherever results wherever situation is at hand something you've been waiting for is actually going to come out and this is going to make you happy and you're going to have a lot of success with that um, you then have the cards then of passion that's linked to this so you may have some type of insane chemistry with someone at this time uh, you may have a sense of liking each other and having fun with someone um, around this as well you have the butterfly card which is about a re relationship evolving for some of you to the next phase um, healing the own inner child and some type of good growth that's going to be coming of the sun card so where there's a lot of happiness and success so going to be having a lot of growth at this time and you have the card of I like you with someone likes you romance is blooming there is fun flirting time and someone that wants to go on a date with you so this is going to be um, some type of good time for you to actually get out there and where you had a lot of success coming in happiness um, maybe a marriage for some of you so this is um, what that is about you have the hammer card so either someone is sabotaging trying to sabotage your happiness or you are actually going to rebuild your life there may be a sense of interrogation that's involved with this something that is repeating all the time something you can tell that keeps repeating on and on and on this is what that's linked to someone that's been very persistent and someone that wants to work on it. So you either want to work on um, trying to be happy, trying to look after yourself, um, or someone wants to help you with that. You have the chaser card then, which is a chaser in a codependent relationship. Someone that have fear of abandonment issues. So this could be yourself. You may have a lot of abandonment issues. So you want to work on yourself at this time. Um, try and focus on you and your family and things of that nature. Okay then, so the Eight of Cups. Let's see what they say. Right, for the reasons of the Eight of Cups, which is, you know, either having many problems or turning your back or walking away from a person or someone because it's something you cannot do. It's to do with some type of news or situation that have come in for you or is going to come in for you. Um, this could be some type of communication to do with love. But there is a lot of um, loneliness and feeling unattached with this as well. Um, having some time to soul search and look after yourself. Because you want to put yourself first before you want to move to um, going into a relationship. You have the Phoenix card then. So you will be going on a new phase in life. You may um, rekindle with someone. Renew something. Um, some type of transformation and growth. 
and there may be a changed mind either you or someone else is going to be changing their mind at this time the reasons then for the king of swords the person that can be cold um, they can be a bit brash when they want to be speak openly it seeks the truth demands respect so the reason for this person to come out is to do with some type of celebration either he's helping you to um, celebrate or this is person that may have been in a third party situation that you was involved with or this could be to do with a person that is helping you to um, celebrate or they the person that's coming out to tell you something to celebrate so there's some type of bright happening that's coming in that's linked to that person you have the card then of girl talk so around this time you're going to be spending time with friends um, moving on being happily single living in the moment and having fun and yeah so that's that card the girl talk card then you have the mask so someone is not going to be showing their true feelings someone is hiding something there may be some type of gaslighting at this time as well or someone that's pretending about something with the ten of cups which is about happiness success um celebration party and something good coming out of this you have the completion of a full cycle whatever um held you back it's no longer going to hold you back there is a full circle um whatever karmic pattern whatever life lesson you was having is all full and is all complete um there is a lot of luck on your side and there is a new opportunity coming in for you um because you will have victory you will have a lot of success you're going to have a lot of triumph over something that is leading to your happiness you have the card then of you and a person that you are in a relationship or um you have feelings for you both mirror each other um and there is a sense of you both bounce off each other's energy you both alike there is a sense of both having the same self image and um, whatever relationships you're going on with you both have um, a lot of issues that reflects on the wounds um, that you both have you then have the card then of wedding rings so there's a union coming in this may be involving a wedding or some type of marriage or you're going to be getting married at this time it could be linked to a soul connection an eternal love or an everlasting promise girl with a snake then so either you or the person is an empath narcissist um, either you or someone else is being charmed or being used um, enabling some type of situation um, and pouring up some type of boundaries or boundaries needed to be put up the next card is feeling not enough either you or this person is going to be very frustrated in a relationship at this time there is a sense of having a lack of confidence self-sabotaging things having a lot of fear and ego issues and some type of jealousy that's involved heart with a key this is you going to be welcoming some love into your heart you will be meeting the right one or you have met the right one you are going to be opening your heart and there is a sense of getting together and you want things to be perfect you have the coffee cup so you may be meeting up with someone and having some type of conversing in more savoring for a special moment feeling uplifted at this time and there may be something to do with a friendship you have the card of ascending which is transcending any obstacles um, there is a sense of going to be learning a lot of lessons during this time there is an expansion and a new phase coming in for you and there is a sense of preparing for union with the seven of cups then so this is about you know a lot of options opportunities choices the reason for this to come in is because you have the two of wands which is there is a short journey near water around this time so there is a journey that you may be embarking on you may have a new life path 
you may be um, wanting to get away for a while um, but you have a lot of options and you're not too sure which option to take at this time you have the card of abundance which is you will be needing to keep a positive mindset and you will manifest exactly what you want there is a lot of gratitude and bliss that is on the horizon for you you have the date card so you are going to be either meeting someone new or you're going to go on a date there is a sense of getting back out there in the world and dating and planning and ready to set a date you have the lightning card then which is a sudden change which is literally like linked to the tower card um, something is going to be of shocking news it will come as a surprise for someone some of you it may come as an upheaval or there may be some type of transformation that's in the works you have the page of wands so this is about that young person that's going to be traveling overland so the reason for this is to do with a man or another female whoever it is is someone to do with um, an older person that is very restless they are outspoken they're ambitious they're their own leader um, maybe this person wants to go and I'm sensing this may be a dad figure they want to go and see this person they have a lot of ambition and they're willing to travel over land to see this person for some of you I'm getting there may be a sense of traveling over land because this may be the new boss or new job that they go into you have the card of kisses so there is a sense of unconditional loving um, giving and receiving affection and falling in love so some of you may be falling in love with someone that's either younger than you or older than you the reasons then that you had the hangman which is you know getting stronger in yourself after a lot of delays in your life you know everything at a standstill the reason for this card to come out was because there was a lot of imbalance going on in your life things that you needed to balance and things were just out of whack um, and then you have the card of happiness and expansion that will be um, coming up for you with some joy and enjoying each other's presence so you may be enjoying someone else um, spending time with someone else at this time the reason for the knight of cups then which is someone that is coming in with some type of love offer some type of love opportunity the reason for this is is going to come in because there is a new beginning for you a new beginning with this person um, there may be a sense of a new idea this person may be coming in and they go to help you with some type of new idea or they come in then to help you to have some type of creation um, and there is a hollow victory that's coming in for you there may be some type of um, frustrations that is coming in but it is to be expected um, because there is victory in the works and this is also linked to um, this axe card which is about a breakup or separation or you need to stop the pattern of um, what do they call it of the frustrations and things and the there is a sense of silent treatment that's going to happen for some of you and the sense of abandonment as well or this person feels abandoned about um, by you at this time six of pentacles which is about a raise or giving and receiving or some type of balance in a situation the reason for this is to do with a positive fiery outspoken um, person that is um, a leader um, she is very outspoken she's positive she's happy-go-lucky she is a very strong-willed person or him um, there is a sense of losing out on an opportunity or losing someone there may be um, a grieving process or um, there may be just a sense of loss someone lo losing out on a certain situation or lost on something but there is a sense of um, peace of mind coming in after a conversation um, you maybe want to be single at this time or this person wants to be single at this time so is the opportunity of having a lot of contentment being happy with oneself 
um, at the current moment. You then have the card then to clarify this is the sword and rose. So this is having a lot of clarity, some truths being spoken and some type of protection and power is at play. Then with the four of swords then, the reason for you to have a lot of like rest and have some time out is to do with some type of good news that's coming in. So after you've had a lot of this um, deliberation and choices and things, something is going to come out of it that's very good. There's um, good karma. Some of you, this may be linked to a Pisces person. Um, whatever it is, there is good news. This is a very positive card. And, <coughs> excuse me. And this is linked to do with the decisions and um, to do with some type of judgment that is going in your favor. So the good news is that it is going to go in your favor. Um, this could be linked to a soulmate of yours or someone that was part of a soul connection with you. This could be linked to someone that you had a partnership with or some type of agreement or some type of soul contract that you had with them. The Ten of Wands, the reason for this to come out was because you need a lot of security, you need a help in hand, you need some type of help. So someone is willing to come in and give you that help in hand and security and then there is a sense then of either traveling um traveling over land and just seeing what what decisions and what things that you've been thinking about really matters the most um and it's basically like just knowing how lucky you are and the people that you go surrounding you is that like trying to think that things are actually coming good for you after a long time and this could have been linked to do with a lot of delays around money as well you know and either you coming out the cold from this person or this person actually coming out the cold from you feeling abandoned so you may have felt abandoned um, and not feeling like war security you needed you wasn't getting it at the time but you are going to get the security you will be um surveying your land so to speak you know traveling over land there may be some type of delays around a, a money situation or feeling very abandoned and feel like you haven't got that much left um to salvage in a certain situation and this can do with the photograph card is looking at your photos so this person's going to be looking at your photos or you are going to be looking at your photos to do with someone you miss or someone is actually missing you there is a sense of nostalgia and want to make new memories and then you have the gold mirror this is about a person that is very self-absorbed they're a narcissist um, there is a sense of a one-sided relationship and some type of love bombing that was involved the four pentacles this is about a lot of money improvements um saving money or keeping something really tight to you which is this card you have the knight of swords so someone is coming in very quick very fast they come in very speedy there is some type of communication coming in for you is going to come in quick and fast and it may be um, an end to a certain situation that you was involved in and this could have been linked to a twin flame um, person someone that you felt like you both could complement each other there's some type of union there was a lot of balance that you had um, that you both coupled each other or you was a couple at one point or you are Cupid's arrow is the next one. So what they saying is to have faith because new love is coming in for you. There is some type of surprise invitation or meeting coming in, but there may be some type of hesitation around it. You have the clock. So you do need a lot of time. You know, it is gonna take a lot of time for you to sort these cycles out, you know, sort the things that um you need to heal, but time is um, of essence here and things are going to pro progress for you in a good note you have the card of seduction 
so there is a lot of attraction coming in either on your half or on another person's half that they see attraction there may be a lot of flirting some type of dating some type of hooking up or some type of temptation involved or third party interference so this could be linked to that and then you have making healthy choices in your love life and life in general learning to love yourself after a lot of deliberating in your life with self-care and actually being very happy okay with the four of wands which is about happy home um a lot of success maybe marriage you know something celebratory the reason for this is because of a new because of a ending sorry the reason is you're going to be happy going to be celebrating because it's going to be an end of something that you've been waiting for for a long time this is also a scorpio sign as well um so yeah there's a lot of situations where there is going to be an end in and you are going to have a lot of celebration over it because it's finally over and done done and dusted ready for a new beginning to come in for you and then you have the card of the cassette so there's a lot of outdated thinking and replaying a lot of events over in your head at this time ten of pentacles which is about stability security um abundance a lot of money coming in money contentment signing a money agreement something to do with like a family inheritance something of that nature the reason for this you know for you to come into a lot of success is to do with someone that was very very jealous someone that was a troublemaker and something that kept holding you back and is no longer going to be holding you back any longer and this was to do with someone that was your enemy someone that was very clever malicious um they, they could be a link to another woman or another man in in the works but there is a sense of looking over your shoulder for some reason and someone may be in some type of competition or feel like they're in competition then you have the card of the palm tree which is about stability security permanence growth endurance and also it's all about flexibility as well the reasons for the tower card to come out for some of you is some, some type of accident some type of catastrophe but i sense this is something that's going to be very unexpected that's going to come in very quick and fast that you know you don't see coming in reasons for this is because of a guy or a girl man or woman that is a very gentle very emotional very shy that is coming in with some type of offer and it, you didn't see it coming in but there is a sense of healing the heart either this person or you are going to be healing from a heartbreak there is a freedom from a toxic relationship or some type of addiction you then have the hand of cards which is either you or this person's going to be taking a chance or going to be risking something being very strategic having a lot of options and gambling on a certain situation and then you have stabbed in the back either this person stabbed you in the back or you stopped this person in the back because there's a lot of heartbreak a lot of pain separation deception and some type of shock and attack that was involved reason for the page of pentacles which is about like a student or someone that is um very young going into a new industry or into new work the reasons behind this person to come out is to do with some third party situation so they may have been involved in a third party situation um that caused a lot of arguments there's a sense of a lot of frustration jealousy and having a lot of broken heart over certain situations because of a um, a lot of battles a lot of arguments a lot of deception just a lot of fighting and this was something to do with um someone that have actually come in to express their love there's a message of love coming in saying that they think of you and they're going to be letting you know with the love call 
The reason then for the Six of Cups is to do with um, someone from the past, someone that you had a lot of memories with. The reason for this is they either decepted you, they either stole or they was fleeting out the relationship, someone that was up to no good and they didn't want to work on the romance any longer, they didn't want to work on something for some reason. Um, but then there was some, some type of stability that ended up coming into your life. Someone, this could have been something to do with your um, father or grandfather, someone that's a father figure maybe for some of you. Or this could be just some type of stability that ended up coming into your life and taking over and had a lot of work frustrations but they was willing to work um, very hard. Uh, to get what they want and to have a lot of success and whatever situation that they had going on in, in life there's a sense of working really hard so this could be yourself you know want to work very hard on yourself and whatever situation you had going on in your life this was literally linked to a karmic relationship about someone that kept fleeing the situation, someone that kept going in and out of a love, of, love situation, someone that had a lot of triggers, um, someone that may have triggered you, there may have been a lot of turmoil, resentment, um, life lessons, letting go but also loving you at the same time. The reasons for the two of cups where there's two people again together to talk is to do with some type of justice some type of balance to come into the works this could be to do with a legal situation this could be something to do with the justice system this is when two people come together for some type of connection some type of communication to do with some type of justice some type of balance that needed um, to be put to rest you have the dragonfly this is being the sense of being light-hearted someone finding out something or you finding out something where things are starting to come out, come to the light there is a sense of adapting to change and heal so this may be what this person's going through um, and this person's actually watching and looking and stalking you and um, there is a sense of gaslighting with this person also so you've got to be careful three of pentacles so this is about a lot of improvements working on things um let's see having a lot of delays but trying your best to work hard on, on a certain sit situation or even working in a teamwork the reasons are with excuse me the reasons around this is to do with some type of love affair um some type of romance was building within a marriage or a relationship or this could be working with some type of relatives or working with um someone you love dearly and <clears throat> excuse me and whatever it was you only listened to yourself you wouldn't listen to anyone about it you were just listening to your own beliefs and there is a sense of you actually overcoming any heartbreak any hurt from this person and from what they had done but there is a lot of frustrations you going through a lot of frustration or this person's going through some frustrations but they are working on it they are on top of it they're not making things go as worse as it would be and there is a movement forward with the chariot card so either this is actually a movement or something to do with a car this could also be to do with um, moving of a home or going on a new journey or victory of a situation or, pro uh, or problem and this was linked to someone well separation someone that had a lot of sadness someone that was actually missing you dearly they constantly think about you they are yearning for you and they are very unsure of their future as of now and same goes for yourself maybe okay the reasons for the moon deception you know a lot of emotions going on is to do with some type of strength gathering a lot of strength in yourself there may have been some type of confrontation you're having with yourself or someone else but is having that courage that determination and that bravery to power forward even if there is a lot of frustrations, even if there's a lot of um, thought process that's going on in your head, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, overthinking things constantly in your mind, 
even though you have that going on you are going to have a lot of strength over a certain situation and this could be linked to someone um, that is very cold hearted they can be a bit of a bitch someone that can be um, not a nice person also okay so you have then the talking card so this could have been to do with someone that was very interested in you someone that wanted to talk a lot more to you someone that wanted to converse more um, something to do with an awaited message that is going to be arriving and it could have been to do with a text a call an email also the reasons for the knight of pentacles to come out which is about um, some type of message to come out was linked to something that you hoped and wished for kept open a wish for but it didn't actually go in your favor to extent something was still carrying on or still actually um going on karmically and you have the card of self-indulgence where you are going to be wo working more on yourself you know focusing on yourself knowing your own self-worth having a lot of time to heal doing some shadow work and also having a lot of self-appreciation in this time as well you, then with the cards of the king of pentacles this is about a person that has their own business someone that can be arrogant someone that can be a bit powerful someone that can be a bit boastful when they want to be um you have then the heartbroken card which is feeling very deeply hurt um because of some type of sadness some type of separation something to do with a breakup feeling lost to do with the grieving or mourning then you have the card of the boat so there is a sense of receiving what you need there is a lot of progression coming for you and there is something that's going to be arriving so you can move on to do with some type of closure issues then you have the card of not today so one day in this week you are going to be um, feeling a bit hurt you are going to be avoiding a conversation some type of call or a person there is some type of boundaries that were set as well and you just um, someone is overstepping the boundaries and this is why it's making you very angry at this time the reason then for the knight of wands which is to do with some type of important letter is to do with some type of tears and frustrations letting your emotions go because there's a lot of anxiety a lot of depression you know having a lot of nightmares either you or this person you know letting go a lot of their emotions um and not knowing what to do because there's a lot of you know things going on in their mind and this can be linked to this card which is keys on a ring so this could have been linked to, to do with whatever options you had going on some type of decision making that you made something that was making you strung along or you string someone else along or is to do with someone to do with a one night stand okay then aries that is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of april i hope you can all resonate to some extent please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i see you again soon bye